Singapore is planning to build a second liquefied natural gas or LNG terminal. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong made the announcement this evening at the official opening of Singapore's first LNG terminal on Jurong Island. The $1.7 billion facility began operations last May. It's a key pillar in Singapore's energy diversification strategy. Currently, more than 90% of the electricity in Singapore is generated using natural gas. Before the LNG terminal was built, virtually all of Singapore's natural gas supply was imported via pipelines from Malaysia and Indonesia. Mr Lee says the government will also continue to explore new energy options like solar energy. Because there are more suppliers vying for our business, we can obtain more competitive prices. And with more gas available and new generation capacity entering the market, electricity generation becomes more competitive, which will benefit consumers. The first LNG terminal is also on track for further expansion. There are plans to add a fourth storage tank, and this will increase the terminal's throughput capacity from 6 to 9 million tonnes per annum by 2017. Mr Lee notes that although oil prices have quadrupled in almost 20 years, electricity prices in Singapore have gone up by just 40% over the same period. Without market liberalisation, the tendency would have been just to pass on the extra costs and consumers and firms would be paying today much higher electricity bills. This is a good example of how private operators working in competitive markets can outperform state-owned, nationalised industries.